To connect your Orca to Groovy, open up the app. If your account is activated, this arrow will turn green and you can continue. We'll select that, which will take us to the main general page. Here you can move between screens using the arrows at the top left and right. To connect to your Orca View, you need to get to the Bluetooth page. First, we'll move forward with the right arrow, but we'll stop at camera to select our settings. At the top, you have the option to use the front or back camera and a GoPro. We'll be using the back camera of our phone. Next, we have the option to use auto or manual exposure. We use auto with continuous focus at 120 frames per second, ultra wide camera, the exposure at zero, and the stabilization on. With all that set, we'll continue to the Bluetooth page. Here, we can select connect to Orca View. Make sure your Orca View is on to be discoverable. Then, find and select your unit. This icon will turn green, indicating it's connected. However, if the direction switch on the control box of your unit is not set to app, this notification will pop up. Your unit is still connected, however, it will not be affected by the settings on Groovy. To fix this, simply switch the direction switch on your control box to app. Now, your OrcaView settings can be adjusted through the Groovy app, so we can adjust the speed and direction of the arm. Once that's set, we can move forward to the record screen. You can press your paired remote or hit the record button in the middle. That'll start the countdown to start recording. And we'll speed this up a bit. It'll take a moment to add all the effects to your video, but once it's finished rendering, you can preview your video, delete, share, or return to the previous screen. And you're good to go.